back with another video. Today we got Military Insider. This will shatter most people's imaginations and what is possible. It's on both screens. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Of secrecy and secret facilities and the capabilities of our nationally kept secrets um, would shatter most people's imagination of what is possible. This is probably one of the more well-known black budget time travel projects, with the exception of the Montauk project. Many whistleblowers have said that the program was not actually shut down, but just classified into deep black. The people that know everything about Looking Glass, that have gotten all the reports and all the information, the elites of the world, probably figured out that that was the end of the game. I mean, nothing could be manipulated beyond that point. According to the alleged insiders, the Looking Glass technology was apparently used to look backward and forward in time, using the consciousness of an operator as a type of steering mechanism. The operator would sit in a chair that was apparently recovered from a downed extraterrestrial craft capable of interfacing with consciousness directly. When the device was turned on, strong toroidal fields of energy cycled about a pouch of water at the center, which acted as a sort of resonator for in-streaming energies from the point of focus maintained by the operator. The data was collected and projected onto video monitors at incredible speeds which later needed to be de-interlaced to reveal discernible images. What's interesting is that the biases of the operator would have a direct effect on the images collected. For example, if one were to look back to the time of Jesus' crucifixion, if the person doing so was an atheist, they may not see anything at all. But if the person was a Christian, they may see the infamous crucifixion event. This is suggestive of a time-space mechanic in the universe wherein the human mind is able to navigate through time itself. The work of Dewey B. Larson and his reciprocal systems theory provide- I can't just let that bat pass like that. If the guy was an atheist, he wouldn't see it at all. If the guy was religious and he believed in it, he would see it because he believed in it. After all, they did prove perception is reality, meaning you can have your preconceived notions of someone and you can judge them just based off what they depicted that person to be his demographic of people and the second on time i mean this yeah the double entendre will be it's like literally the biology and the science with the light hitting your lens and your retina and how all that work so yeah perception is reality and damn from that tv show american gods he was wondering why it was a bunch of different Jesuses. And all the different Jesuses looked in the image of the men that believed in him. And they all could see them. He said, why is it so many Jesuses? It's because they believe in it. Because of that person believed in it, it actualized, materialized, and manifests, and it's real to that person. And for the ones that don't believe in it, it's not there. That's interesting. If that's really the reality of things. Like. Everything and nothing. Nothing and everything. Like. If you don't believe in it, it's not there. If you believe in it, it's real to you. Take it a step further. It's the reason why these people control the media. And they always pumping negativity. Negativity. So all of us as a collective, I got to include us all. I'm not talking about us on the outskirts. That's the exception to the rule. We don't matter because the populace outnumber us a hundredth to one. You're more than a thousand to one. So you got the populace, the consensus that watch the news. And it's very low vibrational things and acting scripted things. And you see it. And you feeding yourself that from your eyes and your ears. You placebo yourself. And this go for everybody. The, the, everybody that's absorbed in the propaganda. 
So all of them seeing it, they consuming it from their eyes and their ears. It's in their conscious as well as their subconscious. They placebo themselves and they all, it's a collective for all their Taurus and biofields, the flower of life. Actualize this, materialize and manifest a reality that they don't want for themselves. That's a real thing. That may sound crazy, but that's real. And that's insane as well. If Jesus only exists as a person and image, if you believe in it, and if you don't, it doesn't exist to you. Sacrifice is only begotten son. It's only begotten son. It's the sun that's the, the bright, the morning star. What do you see in the morning? The brightest, the sun. If the sun decide not to awake the following mornings, we will go under ice and everybody will be popsicles. That's his only begotten son. I ain't even finna get into that. This is all for entertainment purposes only. I help make episodes for South Park. I'm not finna get into the logistics. May not see anything at all, but if the person was a Christian, they may see the infamous crucifixion event. This is suggestive of a time-space mechanic in the universe, wherein the human mind is able to navigate through time itself. The work of Dewey B. Larson and his reciprocal systems theory provides the basis for this interpretation. Briefly, as described by Larson, the universe is broken up into two physical regions, as defined by motion. Below the speed of light, motion operates in three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. Above the speed of light, motion operates in one dimension of space and three dimensions of time. As bizarre as that sounds, the three dimension of time. What the, I'm assuming the present, the past, and the future. Three dimensions of time. Three dimensions of time, three dimensions. The present, past, and future. Mind is uniquely equipped to navigate in time, which is able to access memories of the past, gain awareness of events in the present, conceive of future possibilities, and e And this is real. They really got this technology. And since they got it, guys, GG, I'll see y'all back in the, in the lobby. I still got my materials, though. You ain't got yours. But if they got this, we ain't got a chance to hell on winning. I know they showed you the Avengers people supposedly supposed to be unlocking their powers. When, you Beckham? We got Anakim, we got giants, we got si sirens, mermaids, elves, Nordics, tall whites, plea aliens, Bigfoots, dragons, dinosaurs, cat people with a cat head in a human body, tiger people. It's all kind of wolf, dog, puppy, sheep. All kind of shit exists here. We got all kind of updates and patch notes. But what is going to level the playing field? It's not fair. Everybody that come out and speak about something get uninstalled. Someone got to swoop around and collect their reboot card to revitalize them through the moon with no recollection of their past life just to do it all over again. Just to go to a job. Just to be occupied at an occupation. Job is defined as public business for private dishonest gain. While you work in your job is somebody privately eating private parts gaining dishonesty off your hard work and labor behind the scenes. That's crazy. It's like we can't beat them. We might as well join the bad guys at this point. They got the crystal ball. It's over. GG's. Even imagine alternative events that did not actually happen. In other words, the human mind can select the point of focus, just like in remote viewing, and receive the information from the store of memories made during the experience. Do you know the difference between looking glass and the yellow cube? Yes. Okay. Are you aware of what happened to the yellow cube and how it was used and, um, and so on? Are you I, I believe that the yellow cube still exists. I can't say for certain if it's on this planet, but I would say that it's definitely protected from use at this point. Okay. Well, that coincides with the testimony we got. The yellow cube or the yellow book would give you your possible future. Yes. So it took basically the choices that you would inherently make along a timeline and tell you what that timeline would be given that you made all the choices that your brain would make. Well, that sounds like a digital footprint. Like how your device know you due to what, how you, but way more advanced, the yellow cube. So based off of everything you did, it can show you your potential outcomes. 
that kind of power is in the hands of the elitists. God, you done fucked up, whoever you to be. You mean to tell me you put us here on earth with these people and they've been winning every since I can remember? <laughs> How are we going to fight the elitists and the giants and the reptilians that actually can assume human form and that can disappear and reappear in front of you and that can materialize and dematerialize and match a frequency? How the fuck is we supposed to fight them? All the bad guys got a, a brotherhood, a sorority, dressed up as Jew, Druids, fake Jews, but they all in cahoots. And then it's like I'm around, again, a bunch of white sheep, and I'm a black sheep. And then you made it to where you're going to need someone. So we got to convert, convert somehow all these white sheep into black sheep when you know it's impossible. People are already think they know what they know the installation is already there their brain is a 2006 Dell laptop that cannot be rebooted and have no updates it's malfunctioning it got 20 different tabs open of nothing that's unfair as fuck like we supposed to get together and overthrow the government <laughs> but this shit ain't fair bro i gotta unlock my powers this is crazy well, this is exactly what I was just going to ask you. What we were told is that leaders of, of governments and so on, people in high uh, places, uh, you know, uh, politically, would, would use this to try to see their most optimum future and then follow those. those. So they were using it to enhance their wealth, et cetera, et cetera, mm -hmm. yeah. in a very egotistical way. That's great. Um, and that was part of the problem with it. The looking glass device seems to be capable of the same type of process. To access a data stream from any conceivable location, in space or time, steered via the consciousness of an operator. According to the testimony of Burish, the technology was provided to the human race during the Sumerian times, when an advanced contingent of future humans went back in time and provided that civilization assistance after a cataclysm known as the Deluge. The Sumerian cylinder seals were encoded with plans to build the looking glass device. Earlier versions of the project saw the development of an actual portal that an individual could move through to jump in time. According to Burish, accounts provided by captured beings known in the program as P-45s, future humans 45,000 years into the future, the Earth was destroyed by massive cataclysms around the year 2012. This is apparently because looking glass devices were actively being used during a major celestial alignment, which overloaded the organic energy grid of the planet. Burish further claims that the device has been dismantled as a result of discovering two probable timelines, one of which is the cataclysm described by the captured being. An attempt was made to look into the future, but no concrete data was able to be received past the infamous date of December 21st, 2012 suggesting that this date is a nexus point in time, whereby either Timeline 1 or Timeline 2 would gain momentum. In the last report, Burish suggested that Timeline 1, the positive timeline, had an over 80% likelihood of coming to fruition. Given that we are nearly a decade beyond the 2012 date, and no major cataclysms have occurred, we are most likely well entrenched within the positive timeline. This is undoubtedly one of the more intriguing topics in Awakening Times, which seems to be well hidden in popular works of fiction. Corey Good, a secret space program insider, claims to have reviewed documentation relating to this project. It would be very hard to accept that all of this information that, that is currently held secret and classified is actually real. I mean, I, again, I know it's all real. The average person that's a part of the populace is is stupid with the with the forty IQ. It shows, bro. Aliens not paying rent to pedophiles at that. They kids not going missing every thirty to forty seconds. More than eight hundred thousand go missing annually. They not getting drugs from over-the-counter pharmaceuticals. They ain't getting legs amputated due to the diabetes and blood not circulating in blood clots. Is it diabetes? 
This is all for entertainment purposes only. I know certain words is trademark. It's that fucked up. They ain't got no problem with freedom of speech. They native tongues isn't stripped from them. Like it's, and this everything that goes on with humanity. I say all that to say, you not drawing a conjuring nothing up or coming up with no time traveling, no hydrogen collider, no, you not saying or thinking or drawing up anything that doesn't already exist in the Akashic records. The average person, your IQ is for your, That's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Comment, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications, DM me the link via X. Let me know what you want me to react to next or what you want me to talk about. Follow me on Twitch, Kick and Rumble. Don't don't be one of them. Well, I can't tell you to don't be one of them. Either you got it in you or it ain't on you. You see this? All these bots. That's that's life really like that. I'll see you on the next video.